Hello everybody, I'm Alfred and we'll be looking at, you know, basically um, projects folks are working on, you know, projects that are yet to come in the world of technology and, you know, checking out places where one can invest their money or basically create better products and, you know, take advantage of opportunities and spaces in the market so first of all we'll be looking at this product this is the optic portable laser cutter you know the name is long of course this is on kickstarter and you know the individual already has 284 backers at the time of this video and this is you know the amount of money that has been pledged out of the goal you know it, it, it up this is very interesting you know but one thing I'll say about Kickstarter and ideas like this you know it is kind of like using charity to fund capitalism capitalism and charity you know business and charity are two different things you have to keep them separate a non-profit is a non-profit and a profit is a profit I personally feel regardless you know i know it is their money but there is a dishonesty that goes with using charity to fund a business using charity to start a business you know why don't you sell stocks or why don't you sell bonds or you know why don't you have you know something that the person can gain back but you know it is what it is you know some people have money some people want to um, help out in this way and you know interestingly people don't talk about this when people are pushing for socialism and communism and are like um, tax the rich take away money from the rich but it, you see it is the rich funding these people you know it is it is people having money and having you know excess beyond just what they need to get by for today you know that is making these kinds of projects possible you know so imagine anybody can have an idea and they can get on kickstarter you know and or, or create their own website and get people to fund it you know in as much as i do not um strongly i, I do not approve of that um, approach but you know it is what it is anyway let us get to the pro the product but i would say you know sell stocks or bonds or let it be something let it be some profit for the person let the person be investing rather than giving to charity you know let's check out this video they put together hello i'm caleb render was founded by a team of designers and engineers that all wanted access to laser cutting you want a fast way to go from idea to product without any hassle or limitations that's why we created the optic portable laser cutter with integrated filtration and an infinite work area we have completely reimagined every aspect of laser cutting to combine an unprecedented flexibility with the speed, precision, and accuracy that you would expect from industrial machines. Its folding design maximizes work area while allowing for an incredibly small footprint for storage or transport. A standard size you work. Know, that's a beautiful idea. You know how they made it compact and small, and yet it still performs the function that previously would need a very large industrial machine to make and i'm guessing now that perhaps you know it is those who really want to see these products you know in the market that are really funding this kind of product you know those who probably um have a strong need for something better you know something more compact you know that will be the ones that are most motivated to fund this kind of projects Work area was a requirement from the beginning to optimize material capability and simplify your workflow. For ultimate convenience, the Optic uses the USB-C standard for both delivering 100 watt power and data transfer. The Optic's MDL-1 laser module uses breakthrough multi-diode technology to deliver the power and precision you need for any project. Integrated air assist and active cooling ensure continuous runtime. And to drive the laser, the Optic utilizes an incredibly robust kinematic system. The machined aluminum chassis paired with ground steel linear rails enable incredible cut quality and engraving speeds of over 200 millimeters per second. We designed the optic from the ground up to maximize filtration efficiency. By building the filtration system directly into the X-axis chassis, the optic achieves unparalleled fume capture. 
Replaceable filters with HEPA level mechanical filtration. You know, this one they are really explaining. I hope they are not giving away information that is really not patent protected because if it is not patent protected, you know, somebody else, especially a bigger company or the company that if this product goes into um, large scale production, you know, the companies that will be threatened by this new innovation, they could actually take advantage of, you know, this idea and go ahead and create their own products. And since they already have the spread, they already have the distribution, they already have the relationships, they can, you know, basically pour sand in the gary of these guys, you know. And for those of you who do not know, that's an African phrase, you know, gary is basically um, a food, you know, it's an ingredient for an African meal. And it looks like sand, but it is not sand, you know just kind of like um very tiny um filtered greens you know let's put it that way so imagine pouring sand into it you can't differentiate there's no, there's really no way to separate it so it ruins the gary forever so that is where the freeze you know pouring sand into somebody's gary you know actually comes from and what is referring to and voc capture make the optic at home in the workshop or the office the laser-proof cutting mat provides not only a superior surface for laser cutting, but also protects the optic during storage. Its multi-layer composite construction ensures that the cutting mat is both lightweight and durable, and the engraved layout grid makes lining up your artwork not only simple, but precise. Magnetic snaps connect the optic to the cutting mat, making it easy to detach, unlocking whole new capabilities. This not only offers the ability to engrave on top of existing objects, but the optic is the only laser cutter to offer an infinite work area. Being able to translate a graphic um, into something that you can hold or give to somebody really um, just there's a lot of possibilities there. It's great as I can actually create everything in the software that I'm familiar with and then bring it in to Lightburn or something similar and have it work seamlessly um, with the optic where I don't have to learn anything, you know, anything new. We designed the optic for any software workflow and for out-of-box simplicity, the optic ships with a custom build of Lightburn and we are also working on direct plugins for Fusion 360 and more for next level integration. One thing that I really love about the Optic Laser is the integrated filtration system. I work from home and it's great to not have to worry about exterior ventilation or buying an external filtration system. I can set it on my desk and everything is ready to go. Shipping, finishing, you know, every aspect of a product uh, space is incredibly valuable. So being able to store it when I'm not using it and be able to get it out and get engraving within a couple minutes um, is a really important feature to me. We have put dozens of optics through their paces to ensure long-term reliability so you can take your creative projects or businesses to the next level. We developed strong relationships with our manufacturing partners and tuned our in-house assembly process. Now all we need... What does that mean? We develop strong relationships with our manufacturing partners if you have big companies as your partners why are you on kickstarter why don't you why didn't you partner or or you know work things out with the larger companies where even if you know it means it's a credit basis by the way a lot of um retail outlets you know a lot of retail companies basically use the credit model so there's nothing wrong with that you know you could actually create a situation where you know you ship out the products you know since you have these guys you know they give things to you on credit you will pay them later in the future you know you ship out the products and then you know as the profits come you pay them later as agreed based on whatever payment plan that you guys um work out but if you have big companies as your partners and working with you why are you on kickstarter like you know yeah nobody that you know or somebody who, who doesn't have money or resources but has a beautiful idea or has come this far and you need help you know this is why i have an issue with kickstarter you know and you know this idea of using charity to fund um, for-profit companies, you know, using ch um, charity to fund capitalism, you know, capitalism can function well on its own and even better so. And then capitalism, we fund charity, not charity funding capitalism. 
need is enough orders to start the first round of production. You can pre-order your optic on Kickstarter today, and we can't wait to see what you'll make. So this is a very nice product. You know, I would confess that it could be better because first of all, let's say you have a lot of units or products, you know, to engrave, you know, with the laser technology, you want to engrave whatever design that you have. You will now have to be doing it one by one, one by one, one by one. And, you know, at the end of the day, it takes a lot of time. And the previous old industrial machines, in spite of the fact that they are big and clunky and all of that, they had the speed and the advantage that came with that. So they are, they are, there's still room for improvement, a lot of room for improvement. But that being said, at the product as it is, is good. You know, let's just check out a few other things about what is it? Me, the first laser or portable laser cutting and engraving solution with integrated filtration. I know it's very interesting that you can actually put it on your home or just on your decks and all of that. But then again, if you are really using laser, you know, on a large scale you probably would need it for products that you are shipping out and you know it is a bulk and number is the big thing so it is not something that is really um you are really going to be using in your in your house or in your office unless you are your of your house is also kind of like a warehouse you know this is a a machine that is for products that you are about to ship out very interesting so the price is i would say it's not um it, at least this price the 1995 dollars it's but it's early bed price it's kind of okay but this you know well it depends on what you're using for you know if it's works for your work workflow and the products that you are creating you know and you are give you are sending out you know it to be good keep in mind that this will save a lot of small businesses a lot of time you know and money when for example they outsource the branding of you know their names and their logos on their packaging and on their products you know if they outsource that you know to other companies now they can do it themselves you know so it is actually very nice it's a beautiful idea you know so that being said if you are watching this and you like to be a part of the investors club you know you like to be a part of a community of other christians you know and we are going to go full force you know in the business world and in the investment world to like really take over industry reach out to us on alfred.vip we are looking forward to hearing from you and if you've not given your life to christ also go to alfred.vip click the salvation prayer link in the main menu when you that a page will come out that has a prayer of salvation say that prayer telling god you want to become a christian and begin your work with god also know there is a salvation prayer link in the description below. Thank you and God bless you.